Well, welcome to the Kansas State University John C. Pear Horticultural Center. A uh, beautiful 120 acres just outside of Hayesville, Kansas, which is a little south of Wichita, Kansas. And we are a research and extension facility for the Department of Horticulture and Natural Resources at Kansas State University. And one of the unique things that we do here is we grow certified organic sweet potatoes and sweet potato slips. We do this in an effort to promote sweet potatoes for as a really viable crop for Kansas. If you've got the right soils, Kansas is a perfect climate for growing sweet potatoes. So we produce our sweet potato slips. We ship those across the country. Uh, we grow our own sweet potatoes to provide our own slips for the following year. And we have enjoyed the support of the North Central SARE grant, um, which we have been investigating post-harvest handling of slips to see how long we can improve the shelf life of these slips. And we've also been looking at the potential for growing slips in high tunnels. If a grower has some extra space in high tunnels, how efficient is it to use that space to produce sweet potato slips? What is the quality of those slips? And what is the shelf life of those slips? That's, those are the questions we're sort of trying to, to answer with our, with our North Central SARE, SARE grant. Um, highly nutritious crop. And like I said, it's Kansas is a beautiful place to grow. It. Any place that's got nice sandy soils and nice warm summers like we're having this year. And a sweet potato slip is nothing more if in the spring we put a sweet potato on the ground that we have stored, we cover them with soil, and like you would expect a, a potato or a sweet potato to do, they send up shoots. Those shoots get eight to 10 inches tall. We cut them off and ship those out. And that shoot that we cut off that's eight to 10 inches tall, that is a slip. So sweet potatoes could, uh, could have a, a very bright future here in Kansas, as far as, especially as far as sustainability goes. Um, it's a different sort of crop. It's a root crop. It's not a, a leaf crop that, that's harvested. Um, it fits well into a, into a rotation. Um, there are potentials for larger agronomic growers using them. In fact, this year we have um, worked with one of the large uh, um, center pivot growers who is looking at growing sweet potatoes in the corners of his field uh, where the center pivot doesn't grow. And so there's an, it's a nice option. It's, an, it's a nice crop, uh, again, to sort of fit into a, a, a low maintenance, um, a low maintenance sort of operation. So we've had really good success with our organic production of sweet potato slips. Remarkably good su success. Uh, weeds are our biggest problem, but we, we manage them through, through cultivation and some good old manual labor. Um, but some of the common issues associated with sweet potatoes, such as wireworms and scurf, which is a pretty devastating disease for sweet potatoes, we have had no issues with those in the last 10 years at all. We believe our crop rotation uh, field only gets sweet potatoes every third year, and in, in between there we've, we've got cover crops. So we think we are beating back those very common sweet potato pests through, through crop rotation. It's, it's been a, a very successful for us. We are hoping through our operations here to demonstrate, we're hoping not only to demonstrate that sweet potato is a fantastic crop for the area, but we're also with our slip production, we're actually trying to provide the industry with the necessary tools that, 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 they, that they need to do that. So we're not only are we doing it by demonstration, but we're also committed to supplying certified growers with certified slips so they can get their, get their feet wet with sweet potato production. <laughs>